Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your monthly tarot card prediction for the lovely air sign of Gemini for the month of January 2020. Yes, brand new year. So, we're going to for step, step four to assist us with this reading. And we're going to see what's going on with Gemini. So I'm going to pull an overview theme card from the uh, Keepers of the Light, a couple of cards from the Witch's Tarot, and a postcard from Spirit. And we'll see what messages are coming through for Gemini. Guys, be sure to check out 2020 Predictions. i got a video on that. And January 2020. Alright, Spirit, what is going on with Gemini? Your What's going on with Gemini's? Overview theme card. What are we looking for? What is Gemini looking for? Gemini need to know. Oh, you got White Eagle. So this is Ancestral Spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. So if there's any rifts, tears, um, you know, anything that needs to be healed. Healed in your family. Not only in your family, but with your friends, co-workers, any kind of tear in your etheric realm. Because when we have that, um, you know, wounds, whatever you want to call it, rifts, you know, disagreements that cause us to get mad and, and not speak to family and friends um, those those need to be healed it, it heals you and it heals them you definitely need that at this time um, also getting that you've got a lot of ancestors protecting you this month they are definitely around you Gemini definitely around you Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. So, got this Ten of, ten of Pentacles. So, that, this is all about a happy family. Um, you know, an inheritance. Leaving a legacy for your family. So, are you planning on acquiring property uh, moving to a new home um you no know, buying buying a home so you can start a family this is all about starting a family there you are working hard you want to provide for your family you want to create this this beautiful place that's going to be passed down from generation to generation so i could see some of you are out there buying homes um possibly moving the money's there because you're working hard you're really working hard. You, you, there's money there. Um, money coming in could be from an inheritance or a gift or pure luck or just from your hard work. Um, you've got this Queen of Cups here. And this cup, Queen is, all, is, is a nurturing and support. And this is all about family. So you've got this, this support system around you this month Gemini not only with your family but with your ancestors because I see a lot of ancestors are, are guiding you and helping you and supporting you and protecting you this month so I see your business and for those that are, are um, you know have their own businesses are doing very very successful that is going to allow you to make this purchase of this home um, for your family You've also got the Seven of Wands. So, and this is kind of like defending your ground, standing your ground. So, I don't know if your business, having competition in business, um, standing up for what you believe in, voicing your truth, speaking your truth, being authentic to yourself. Um, 
And this could be in your position of, of work or job or your own business. There could be some competition there. Or you're just standing up and voicing your truth this month. You know, letting your voice be heard. Letting your opinions be heard. Letting, you know, how you feel inside. You're voicing that. So, this is also a victory card. So, whatever it is, that is, I don't want to say obstacles or little nuisances or annoyances that are happening. That keep popping up. Keep going strong. Because there is victory in the end. You know, still a wonderful reading. Um, definitely money coming in from from either wise an unexpected source or from your job. Or you may be getting a loan or a grant. But you're ready to start a new family. Or you're ready to add on to the family that you have. That you already have. And I see you getting a new home and building that solid foundation. So let's see what postcards from Spirit has to add on to that, Gemini. This is Dear Shu. We're getting, gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside of you from a primal place? The form of what you are growing has yet to take shape. We're starting that foundation. And it is exciting to experience this new, fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and pushback when entering any new kind of relationship. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know, it is time to dive in and allow the new version of life to take shape through you, behalf on your partner in the life spirit. You have made it to the new level of awakening and contributing, and we are so excited to see well, this will take you next. We're so proud of you. So, yes, I see your ancestors and spirit looking upon what you're creating and what you're doing. Starting this family and building that foundation. So, I'm going to leave you with that, Gemini. Hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.